Hey guys, wish you all a very happy Holi and I hope you are all doing well. This is a book I was reading and I was having this Gujia because this is a homemade Gujia by the way. So I wish you all a very happy Holi. I hope you are all enjoying it with your friends and family and, and this is the video that I planned. And this will come under Holi special video and similar kind of video I did last year as well around Diwali. So yeah, in this video you'll be finding 10 books and 5 of them are having colorful covers. 5 of them are having those spread edges. So let me just quickly grab this one by the time you can actually enjoy this video. So let's roll the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. I hope everyone's doing absolutely fine. For those into my channel, I'm the woman. You will find book reviews, unboxings, vlogs, and a lot many other fun stuff related to books and fandom. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you can hit the subscribe button. And now let's start this video. So we all know this is a festival of colors and that's the reason I'm doing this video. So wishing you all a very happy Holi. I hope you enjoy this festival with your friends and family. So last year, a similar kind of a video I did on this channel wherein I showed you top 10 beautiful covers that I own. So I thought let's change that concept a bit. So in this one, I'll be showing you top 10 colorful covers or maybe the books having sprayed edges that I own. So five books with sprayed edges, five books with colorful covers I'll be showing you in this video. So we all know, you shouldn't judge books by their cover but still this is the festival of colors so thought let's keep that aside and just make this video because i was out of ideas for holy type of a video so that was all i had in my mind at that time so i thought let's go ahead with it so let's start with this video and we'll be showing you first book and we'll be starting with sprayed edges because i've read all of those five books that i own so let's start with the first sprayed edges book so the first book that i'm having with me is Children of Virtue and Vengeance, which is having this like sprayed edges, as you can see, this cover is a signed copy. So I haven't like, really read this book, but as I've said, la, five books that I'll be talking to you about. So I've started this series and that's the reason I said like the ones that I've already read. So the first part of this book was Children of Blood and Bone that you can actually see in my like uh, profile picture everywhere on Twitter, Bookstagram and all those things. So this is one of those books that I read like very early like uh, when I was new to fantasy so I rated that book Children of Blood and Bone 5 stars and this is the sequel that I am yet to read so this like talking about the first book in general so that book actually follows Zeli who is a resident of Urisa and her mother was killed and they are having a ruthless king so a few of the things that I remember from that book is that like their land lost that magic that they all possessed in the past and she's trying to like bring back that magic and it's a fantasy kind of a book with the, a lot of creatures and all those things so i had so many goosebumps while reading that book looking forward to read it very soon so that's a book and it is having like cultural impact as well so if you are into such kind of books do give it a sort it's a fantasy having like cultural impact as well so i believe that was a freaka so yeah, this was the first book that I am having in this list. Let's jump to the second sprayed edges cover. Second colorful book with sprayed edges is this yellow sprayed edges. And this is the copy of The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. So this is one of those books that I read a couple of years back and I won it in sweepstakes prize. Like this was a sweepstakes prize for me from the big book box, if I remember it correctly. So I read this book and I rated it four stars out of five. So this follows actually a 16 year old girl named Star and her life is going pretty well, though they are having their own challenges, but uh, her life is going pretty well. She's from a poor background, though she studies at a higher level school, but her life actually takes a U-turn when one of her friends got shot by a policeman while doing nothing. So that's actually her story. And a new revolution, new movement actually starts when he gets killed and she gets a lot of media attention and all those things. If you want to read like a very highly impactful read, then go for it. This is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is the only novel I've read by this author, though I'm planning to pick some more. So this is the book that I've read and it is having these yellow edges. So let's jump to the next book and see what I'm having with me. So the next book is something that I've showed you a lot many times with red edges. So this is the book and it is having this red edges so this is six of crows by Le Bardugo and it's a collector's edition and i read this book last year in april that was in lockdown so i actually love this book it follows six people who go on a heist to find one person i think the name was uh, you uh, something i'm not actually sure i read it i think it's been a year since i read this so i'm currently reading crooked kingdom i'm actually liking it so if you are into ya fantasy you pick 
Six of Crows and you will eventually like it or if you want you can actually read Shadow and Bone trilogy before it. So this was the book based on a heist and survive fantasy with some magic and all those things. If you are into that kind of stuff do pick this one. So this was Six of Crows with this Red Sprayed Edges by Le Bardugo and let's jump to the next one. So the next book I'm having with me is having this Black Sprayed Edges. Now I'm not sure if someone's customized this book or these are released with this kind of sprayed edges because as you can see here there's no color on the edges so this is the copy i got this is the second hand copy i got from deal star seller on amazon and that was a long back and this is a booker's prize winner 2011 if i'm not wrong so i read this book long back and it follows a man who is in his like old age or something like that and he's not very happy he's not like very social He's not socializing with people a lot but uh, his life actually changes when he meets a long back long lost friend that he used to like love around his college time or something like that i actually don't remember much of this plot and this was a very confusing read for me i still remember that that i had so much confusion while reading this book and that's the case with me in majority of the man bookers prize winners and i can say that they really confused me a lot but i still rated it four stars because it made some like some sense towards the end of the book so it's a short book as you can see this was the sense of an ending by julian barnes and i actually liked reading this one though the cover you can see how lovely it is so this is the book having this black sprayed edges and let's jump to the next one and see what i'm having with me so the next hardcover you may have already guessed after seeing my thumbnail and that is pretty like obvious after seeing this kind of a spine so this is harry potter and philosopher's stone and this is a house edition of the same so you can see this is the gryffindor house edition and i don't have to like actually talk more about this book because majority of the people are aware of this series already so this is a, one of those covers that i own and i have actually stopped buying harry potter books now i think majority of you know the reasons related to it but anyhow this is the only copy this is the last copy i bought related to harry potter and it is having this like sprayed edges so i thought let's include it in this colorful video because you can see all those colors here so this is the gryffindor edition of harry potter and the philosopher's stone so these were the five sprayed edges books that i've read and let's jump to the colorful covers that i own and those are five in numbers again so out of those five i've read three i think i've read two and the rest three i'm yet to read so let's jump to that stack so before i jump to the first book from this stack one thing i would like to say is that all the covers that i'll be showing you right now are having leaves or something like that and it will give you spring vibes so i think with colors and with holy it is one of those like great moments for me because spring is here and i actually i'm actually showing you all those books with leaves and all those colors so yeah i just wanted to say that with you all so the first book that i'm having with me is everything everything by nikula yoon so as you can see the cover here so it is one of those highly colorful books that i own like it's having so many colors i think each one of the colors are available or like present here so this is one of those books i read i think it was early this year maybe last year it was like i think late last year i read this book by nicola yoon i'm not sure but i read this and it follows a girl named maddie who is having who is allergic to the world and can't leave her house and what happens when her neighborhood actually changes like uh, some new neighbors come to come around her house and she falls in love with a guy living next door and what happens next is very like it's an intricate story and i would recommend you to go for this book i am not sure about the rating but i am pretty sure that i actually rated it on a higher end and i would surely recommend you to go for it if you are into like ya fiction so go for everything everything you will absolutely love this book and i'm looking forward to read sun is also a star but the same author i actually own the copy and i'm pretty excited for the same so this was the first copy everything everything by nicola yoon if you are into why fiction do pick this book let's jump to the next one so a lot many people ask me related to like underrated or underappreciated book recommendations so this is one of those books that i'll be showing you right now it's a hard cover and the name of the book is the queen of hearts by kimery martin so this is one of those books i received in the big book box my first ever big book box and i actually love this book i think i rated it five stars and it follows actually two doctors i think or maybe nurse and it is like it's kind of on a medical drama so if you are a big fan of like good doctor maybe house md or maybe any other show related to medical drama so do pick this book i think it is a uh, like a, a adult fiction so the 
age range i'm not too sure maybe 16 plus can actually read this book so it follows two friends and it follows their like uh, past at, at the same time it follows their contemporary self so if you want do check this book the queen of hearts by kimari martin do check this cover actually they're all the colors present over here so this is one of those underrated underappreciated recs that i'll be giving to you all so if you are into like fiction if you are into romantic fictions or medical type of books do pick this one it's for you and let's jump to the next one so the next book that i'll be showing you is again having all those leaves and colors so this is cecilia ahern's liar bird as you can see the cover of the same so i went actually read this book this is one of those books i bought like long back and it is from again from Harper Collins sale so you can see the mark here so this is one of those books that I got and I don't know much about this read though I read the blurb of the same so it follows a girl who actually lives alone in the forest and that actually gave her a name liar bird recently read a book by Delia Owens and the name of the book was where the crowdat sings so that was the book in which a girl used to live alone in sacks in like uh, at Mars so she was like close to beach and all those things so she used to live alone and when I read this blurb so I got a little like uh, I got a little similarity between the, these two books so I don't know much about this read I haven't like actually read it so I am not comparing it but I'm just stating the facts that a few things are quite similar so it explores the life of a girl who actually lives alone in forest having some like supernatural or what you can say like she's having some abilities or something like that I'm not sure so I'm like looking forward to again as I've said I haven't actually read any book by Cecilia Ahan so I'm looking forward to this book let's see when I can read this but this is one of those again one of those like colorful covers that I own the next book is something that I got because there was so much of buzz around for this book and a lot many people were promoting and at the same time buying this book and I was seeing so many pics on bookstagram at the same time so a couple of years I bought a couple of years back I bought Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James so this is one of those like uh, I think the author author's copy got to like man booker's prize long back so this is one of those books so you can see the cover is having all those leaves and all those colors so i believe this is a fantasy book and this is the first in that series and as you can read here neil gaiman actually praised that book so that can be a marketing stint i know but anyhow neil gaiman is one of those authors that i'm looking forward to read from so long and this is one of those books that i'm can't be more excited to read this this is a trade paperback i was looking forward to get a hardcover at that time but i couldn't get my hands on it so in the end i just got this trade paperback so i'm yet to read this book i don't know much about it but i just know that this is a book and it's under fantasy if i'm not wrong and uh, let's see how it goes and if i like it or not so if you want you can read the blog but i'm not too sure about the plot line of the same Next I'm having is an Australian novel and I haven't actually read this book. This is a hardcover and I got it from chapter 1 bookstores. So this is Boy Swallows Universe by Trent Dalton. So this is one of those books that I again got from chapter 1 bookstores and I actually like this cover. So you can see all those covers and bird and all those things around on this cover. So this is one of those books that I'm looking forward to read. So it follows a guy who actually lost everything and is facing all those challenges in his life and he actually faces a lot many challenges this is his story and let's see what happens to him when he encounters i think here it says a drug dealer i think i unboxed this book or maybe something on the similar lines on this channel i'm not sure but i received four bookmarks with this book and i actually love those bookmarks you may have seen them in majority of my bookstagram pics so this was the book that i own and this is boy swallows universe so sorry that i can't really explain much of a point plot line of the same like i read the blurb of the same but i at the moment i'm shooting this video i can't really remember the same and i just wanted to show you these 10 colorful covers so out of these like 10 books i've read or started maybe seven books like i read six books though one of the books is a series and i've read the first book in that series so let's see when i'll be reading that sequel but these are all the books that i own and uh, yeah this was the colorful video i was planning for and i hope you like this one and happy holy to each and every one of you and i hope you are having a good time and this video most probably will drop on like what we say in our hindi culture choti holi so i hope you have a great time tomorrow and happy holi and just enjoy this festival with your friends and family and i hope you like this video if you did you can hit the like button you can comment down below and let me know your thoughts related to the same if you want me to review any kind of a book do let me know in the comment section below or if you want to ask me anything related to books or anything in general do drop a comment down below or you can share this video with your friends and family 
and like if you like the content so that was all follow me over my social media we'll be catching up real soon that was all stay healthy stay home stay safe and bye bye